What's going on everybody, Quaker here, back with another quick video, a bonus video for today, Thursday, August 6th. Microsoft today released Windows Insider Preview Build 2185. It's currently for skip ahead and you know the fast channel or the dev channel users. And it's a server side update to the app called uh, Your Phone. It's not coming to everybody who has this preview build, but it's gonna be trickling out over time. And basically it allows you now that you can launch your Android apps as you heard on your Windows PC. So whether I wanna launch Disney Plus for whatever reason, I have it right there, I can launch it. I'm not actually paid for it, so I can't really show you guys anything on it. But let's say I wanna open up something like AutoList. So AutoList here, you know, I can scroll through it. It's fast, it's easy. And if I wanna click filter, uh, it works just like that. It just, it, it's, it's snappy. It just, it works really smoothly. I'm very surprised. Uh, and then going back home, you can also see my home screen also works fine. Now there's another feature here inside the app. If you go to settings, and if I go to settings and I scroll down here and go down more and more and more, you can see badge on taskbar. You can turn that on and it'll put the badge of whatever your notifications are on the taskbar. Um, but the part that I would like to see here is optimize app window sizing on my PC. So basically when you turn that on, what that does is the aspect ratio on my Galaxy Note 10 Plus here Whereas before you saw a big border, black and white, I and mean black border on each side of the app, now you're going to see when I open it up that it's going to resize itself next time I open up the app. So let's say I close it out, and then let's say I want to go, let's bring this full screen. Let's say I want to go to the apps in preview, and let's say I want to go to, I don't know, let's say I want to open up Bing. So if I open up Bing, you can see that on the right side and on the left side, this is the exact aspect ratio of my phone. Uh, other than this top border here, I have no idea what that is. In fact, actually, you know what? That is the exact aspect ratio of my phone because on my phone, there's also a black border on top. So if I scroll down, I can also see down when I'm looking at my phone. You guys can't see it, but that my phone is actually reacting to it and it works. So it's cool. And if I click on, say, Twitter is letting all users limit their replies on the verge. You can click and you can see, oh, it's showing up just like that on my phone. So, and also another cool thing with this is it's it's very interactive, like you're using your phone on your computer. So if I drag down from the top, you can see I can have my notifications. And if I close it up, you can see I have my notifications just like that. Um, another cool thing there is when I hit the X button, it doesn't actually close it on the phone, but I mean, if I close all the apps on my phone, it's gone. Uh, one thing I wanted to test on this thing was what happens if I rotate my phone sideways and see what happens. So what I'm going to do is let's say I'm going to open up, uh, I'm going to open up, let's say, let's open up the Play Store. So I'm opening up the Play Store. Now it's popped up on my phone here. I'm going to rotate my phone sideways. You guys won't see it, but I'm going to rotate it sideways because the Play Store has a sideways view. And you can see that it automatically rescaled the whole like screen on my computer here to the sideways uh, orientation, the landscape orientation of the phone. And if I rotate my phone back, it's pretty one to one almost like it's just like slight, like two millisecond or less uh, response difference. And if I rotate it back, it just rotates and so on like that. So it's a really cool thing that uh, that you can do on here. Uh, now they have app support on your phone. Now to close up the video, they have a few things that they added as well. So if you want your favorites, it says you can favorite an app by right clicking it and selecting add to favorites. So if I like Amazon, I can add to favorites and it'll pop up there and I don't have to deal with like the hundreds of apps I have on here. If I want Adobe Rush, I can add that to favorites. So let's say I want to throw that in my favorites. You can see that now it's on favorites just like that. So it's really cool. Now, another cool thing too is that you can you can add these apps to your taskbar down here. So you can see the Galaxy Store is on my taskbar. So if I want to right click, you can see I can add pin to start menu. And it says, do you want to pin this tile to start menu? I can hit OK. And then when I scroll down here, you see Rush is on my start menu. And this is not Rush from my computer itself. This is Rush from my phone. So that's a really cool thing. Same thing for, let's say I want to open up, um, what was the other one? Uh, let's, let's say I want to open up uh, Google Play Games. So if I want to right click that and I want to pin into taskbar, I can pin into taskbar. And then when I click it, it'll open up Google Play Games just like that on my taskbar. I click the account and then there it is.
I got the Google Play games on my taskbar and I can open it up just like that. So it's a pretty straightforward app. It works really well and you can see last synced objects and stuff like that. If you want to type in, let's say, uh, drive, you can search for whatever it is um, and it just works. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a quick update just showing you guys your phone and launching Android apps from your phone or on your computer that are on your phone and just interacting with them on a Windows 10 PC. If you have any questions about this stuff, take care everybody.